Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me well. well. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. Ah! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw. I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now pudding after me. <laughs> I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. <laughs> I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't, can't, can, can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, I guess, I, I, right? I, 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 no I, I, need to be um, nervous, my see, loves. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile. <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. Dreams on demand. One morning, the Kitty Cats were telling each other what they dreamt. I dreamed that I was sailing a boat on a little stream. I dreamed I was trying on a pretty new dress. I dreamt I was eating a candy bigger than my head. I wonder, if you think up a dream for yourself, will you dream it then? I'm not sure, but why don't we try it, guys? If we can make it work, then we can dream what we want every night. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, I want to 
dream that I'm out on the ocean in a huge giant boat. I want to dream I'm a princess in a castle. My dream's about different kinds of butterflies. That night, they put their drawings under their pillows. Story time. Tonight, I'll read Puss in Boots, the classic story about a famous cat. So it's morning, right? Pretty, Pretty sure, sure yeah. yeah. It didn't work at all. I dreamed I caught boots or something while I was trying to fish. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. It didn't work for me at all, either. Well, I mean, I was a princess, but I lived in a big boot in my dream. It's because of the book Daddy read us last night. Puss in Boots. Were there boots in your dreams, too? There were. I dreamt I was wearing these freaky boots full of sweets. I wonder why there's food in all of your dreams, Pudding. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it's because I always think about food a lot when I'm drifting off. Pudding, you're a genius. We should be focusing on the dreams we want all day. So the kitty cats spent the whole day thinking hard about what they wanted to see in their dreams. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Really big, fast ship. Really big and fast ship. Some butterflies. Butterflies. Lots of butterflies. And when it came time for Daddy's bedtime story... Story time! Little Red Riding Hood! Thanks, uh, yeah, good night. Uh, uh. I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. Thanks a lot. You made me dream all night about butterflies. Well, I dreamt all night that I was some kind of princess. And I dreamed that I was in a giant ship with butterfly wings on it. Our dreams got all jumbled up because we overheard each other. I have a really good idea. We should try not talking today so we won't mix up each other's dreams. The kittens worked so hard concentrating on their dreams that they wore themselves out. So when they slept, they were too tired to dream at all. All we did yesterday was think really hard about what we wanted our dreams to be. And then we had no dreams at all. I don't understand why we can't see dreams on demand. Ha! <laughs> Maybe it's because it just isn't possible. Our dreams are a mysterious, wonderful surprise. That's what makes them so great. And for dreams to be really rich and interesting, we must do as many fun, interesting things as we can every day to collect experiences. Hey, hey that's, that's right! right. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> The kittens found lots of interesting and useful things to do all day. And after collecting all these experiences, quickly fell asleep. And all three of them were surprised with dreams about new, unique, and fascinating things. One day, the kitty cats were staying at Grandpa's lighthouse and just couldn't think of anything to do. Hey, I see unhappy kitties on the horizon. Why so gloomy, young ones? We forgot to bring any of our toys with us. I didn't bring any books either. And now we're just really bored. Ha <laughs> ha! Then it's the right time to tell you all about my amazing hot air balloon adventure. It'll blow away your boredom. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Come on, I'll show you all the faraway countries I visited and what I saw in them. Yes, I visited South America here, Iceland here, Africa here, China, Indonesia, Botswana, Tunisia, and even the North Pole up here. Um, aren't you guys interested? No, uh, yes. We're sorry. 
But it's nothing but a long list of names. It's not much fun to watch you tap a map with a stick. Uh, all right. Then I'll tell you about my trip using books that have pictures. For starters, right here in this South America book, you can see the world's biggest waterfall I saw well, there. Well, it doesn't look that big in the picture, Grandpa. And I passed over an active volcano once in Iceland. The bubbling lava and smoke was just I don't wild. see bubbling <laughs> lava at all. Well, there isn't any because it wasn't active when this photo was taken. Come on. A little black and white picture? You're saying exciting stuff, but it doesn't look exciting. Yeah. I'd love to be able to see this cool stuff for myself in real life. I have a really good idea. What we really need is to actually go on this trip. Totally. When do we leave? In a uh -huh. balloon. It'll be great. I would love to do that, kittens, but the lighthouse has to be tended by its keeper all the time. <gasps> But hey, you could still have a balloon adventure. You just need to use imagination. Imagination? Grandpa got the kitten's hot air balloon ready. Go on, in the basket. Mm -hmm. And now just shut your little eyes. And imagine that you're in a hot air balloon high up in the sky. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, what is this? It's a friendly crow. Ka 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 ka. And now the wind is picking up. <laughs> it's like flying in a hurricane. <laughs> and now weather's getting a bit stormy. Rain's starting to fall. <laughs> this rainstorm won't be stopping us. We're brave balloon adventurers on a mission. <laughs> now, take your imaginations and go, go, go! <sighs> your imagination can take you anywhere. Flying past a waterfall high up in the air. Over a volcano, what a thing to see. If there's any place you'd like to be, imagine it, imagine it, imagination's infinite. The fun and thrills will never quit. Imagine it, imagine it. <laughs> It was an awesome balloon adventure! Yeah, can we take our balloons someplace else right away? Well, of course you can, but for the moment, it's lunchtime. Aren't these sandwiches kind of boring? Well, yeah, I guess they are. I think this sounds like a job for imagination. Let's all pretend that these are really cosmic moon sandwiches. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Um, um. <laughs> the kitty cats found that their imaginations could take them anywhere, even all the way up to the moon. Detectives! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding decided to play with their favorite toys. Glub, glub, screech! Glub, glub, vroom! My fish car rules! But Candy couldn't find her precious kitten doll. you lost her. Know how you feel, because I'm always losing my stuff. You leave your toys everywhere, but I take care of my doll. Ha <laughs> ha! You probably just left her somewhere. Maybe she'll turn up, you know, one day. Like maybe when we're a hundred. <laughs> but I want Miss Kitty Lou now, not in a hundred years. If Perlock Holmes, the great detective, were here, he'd help us find her in no time. I've been reading about his super duper smart deduction method. What did you just say? Duck, what was that? Deduction method. It means that you have to think really hard about something you lost and then go look. It's pretty much the most geniusy way to look for stuff. <laughs> Elementary. It won't work. Perlock Holmes is in books. He can't really help me. But we can become great detectives too and find Miss Kitty Lou for you. Oh, awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So, Miss Candy Cat, exactly how big would you say your missing doll was? Sort of this big, sir. That big, huh? 
too big to lose in the grass. Oh, oh. I know a place something that big could hide for sure. Oh, I'm okay. Dark in here. Hello. Found something? Miss Kitty Lou? Better. Dad's old hat with a visitor living in it. Look. <laughs> How on earth did Dad's hat end up as an owl house? Guess he must have left it laying around somewhere. So, Miss Candy Cat, please tell me where the last place you saw Miss Kitty Lou was. It was in the sand pit, sir. We were making sand castles and it started to rain. That's it then. Your doll must be buried in the sand. Any luck? Think so. Is it my kitty? Better. One of my cars. Putting stinky sock. And a mole. Ha. How did my car end up buried in the sand? Elementary, my dear Cookie. You just didn't put it back where it belongs. Where did you put Miss Kitty Lou then? I just don't know. Maybe we aren't great detectives after all. <laughs> yes, we are. You've got me thinking. Let's try finding my doll stroller. When the rain started, I put Kitty Lou right near our stroller. This could be an important piece of the puzzle, Miss Candy Cat. Lead the hunt. And so the three detectives set out on their search for the missing doll's also missing stroller. Up and down they searched. <laughs> it wasn't always easy. But world-class detectives never give up. I found some tracks. Stroller tracks? Possibly. I wonder where they go. Let's follow them. The mysterious tracks led back to the kitty's own house. Hey, what's this thread doing here? Oh, that's Miss Kitty Lou's hair. Hey, look, it's another one. The kitty detectives followed the trail of threads. Found her! Looks like Mommy's the culprit in the Lost Doll mystery. Yep, guilty as charged. I found her in the stroller dripping wet, so I pushed the stroller back to the house and I hung her up to dry. Thank you, Mommy. I guess this means the case is solved. When you're finished playing, you should put your doll back where she belongs. I found my lost car and pudding smelly sock. Oh. <laughs> Look at my little detectives. And guess whose daddy got his paws on a copy of the new Perlock Holmes board game? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Being a detective is great fun. But it's good to put your toys back where they belong so you can find them when you're ready to have fun again. Kitty TV. One day, the kittens were waiting anxiously for Daddy to bring home a new TV set as the old one was broken. <gasps> Look, kittens, here's our new TV. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Right. <laughs> Already. Turn it on. Can I do it? Can I? Huh? Huh? Well, well what's he saying? Cookie, turn the volume up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Hmm. There's just no sound. It looks like we'll have to return it to the store. It's new, so they'll exchange it. Hmm, there's no need to take it back. I can get it working myself. I just need to get my tools, all right? It should work just perfectly. Wow, Daddy must be really smart to be able to fix a TV. Huh? Uh, that's worse, Dad. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take it back to the shop and let them repair it. Daddy's been gone a 
long time. Do you guys think the TV doctor is going to fix it? <sighs> I'm sorry, but the set just didn't make it. What if the TV has to wear a bandage for a while? When's it going to be healed? I can't see anything at all. What if it comes back from the shop and still isn't working right, guys? What if it freezes? I, the great Sherlock Holmes, have worked out who stole the golden necklace, and their name is... Oh, no, wait, who did it? Who? Or what if it shuts off all by itself? The score is tied in the final seconds of the most dramatic game in the history of the sport, with one final kick. Ah, uh, wait, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> but, but Daddy, Daddy where's, where's the TV? TV? Uh, don't worry, kittens. There was just one little piece broken. They're fixing it, and we can pick it up first thing tomorrow, all right? What? Only tomorrow? But that's such a long time. Yeah, we'll be old and gray by then. Wow, an entire day without TV. Oh, uh, I really miss the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Really good idea. Let's think of all the shows we love to watch on TV and then make them ourselves. Because that way we won't be bored at all. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Attention, please. Show starting now. <laughs> <laughs> so Cookie made a super sports show. <laughs> Pudding made a first-rate weather forecast. And then there was a wonderful concert. <laughs> there were even some exciting movies, too. Kitty cats and their parents entertained each other with homemade shows all evening and had the best time all together watching their new favorite channel, Kitty TV. Doctors! One day, Mom and Dad gave Cookie Candy and Pudding a lovely present to play pretend with. Look what we have for you, kittens. Wow. A doctor said. A thermometer. Bandages, too. Doctor's hat. All the things you'll need to start your very own pretend doctor's office. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'll be the doctor. No, I want to be the doctor. Me too. Well, if all of us are going to be doctors, where are we going to find the patients? We'll get all of our friends to be patients. <laughs> Doctors, are any of you sick? Oh, yeah, very. We make house calls, so we'll be right there. Just let us grab some medicine. Pass the jelly. The three kitty cats' first patient was Cupcake. Now, what seems to be the problem? Something's sort of wrong with my tail. It just doesn't seem to be quite beautiful enough. Right, no problem. I can just snip off the old oh. one and sew on a beautiful peacock's <gasps> tail instead. Simple. <laughs> I don't need a whole nother tail. I want a second opinion. Right. Um, well, I'm not hearing anything. Shall I wake it up with the hammer? Stop that! We should just wrap the tail in some bandages. Okay, as long as they're pretty. <laughs> Thanks, doctors. Hope you feel better, madam. And remember that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now that Cupcake was feeling better, it was time for the three doctors to visit Chase. It certainly was a very windy walk for the kittens. Now, what seems to be the problem? Doctor, I think I'm turning into an alien. I can even talk like one. <laughs> Aha! You seem to have alien fever. Then we have just what you need. Eat some of this cosmic better berry jelly. Cures all alien sickness. <sighs> But looks like I ate all the jelly. That's all right, because we can just give you a jelly jab instead. You'll feel like an earthling again in no time, unless it turns you into a watermelon. Or a watering can. <laughs> no, no, I don't want a jelly jab. Calm down, sir. For being such a good patient, I have this jelly lolly for you. And please be sure to get some rest. 
I already feel better. So Chase was feeling better too. Our little doctor still had Boris to fix up, so they ran through the rain to their patient. You, sir? Well, the problem is that I get really, really sad on rainy days when the sky is gray. Maybe we need to curl your whiskers. No, not my whiskers. It's really kind of my tummy that's hurting. Oh, sure. <laughs> sounds weird. <laughs> yep, sounds like you've swallowed a propeller. No, I think it's something even bigger. <laughs> that's your tummy pudding because you scarfed up all that jelly. Huh? Hey, you're right. It's coming from mine. <laughs> <laughs> Your tummy will be good as new after you have some tea and oat cakes. And this book about clowns will cheer you up. Oh, I've always thought clowns were awesome. I really love their red noses. Goodness, your noses are really red. Huh? Mommy! We helped all our patients. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all soaking wet. Kittens, get these wet hats off of your heads, and then it's straight to bed. Drink up this nice lemon tea and then sleep so you won't get sick. After a lovely night's sleep, the kittens felt great. <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> Did you call a doctor? I brought you oranges to start your day right. And I've brought some marbles so we can all play. And I brought a joke to cheer you up. <laughs> <laughs> and what doctor's office would be complete <laughs> without a speedy ambulance? Oh, I'm an ambulance. <laughs> What's an ambulance sound like again? Like, like this. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kittens loved playing doctors, but they loved even more having tons of healthy energy to play with their friends. The Cooking Show. One morning, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were working up an appetite with one of Mommy's workout shows. It's breakfast time, little ones. Porridge again. We eat this for breakfast every day. Soon this stuff is going to start coming out of my ears. Porridge is good for you, my darlings. Now you eat that up while I run to this door to see if I can find you some kind of yummy treat. <sighs> hey there, would you like to eat tasty stuff all the time? Yummy meals that make your family feel sublime? Then you need to start watching my kitty cooking show. Whoa! Guys, we have got to do a cooking show of our very own. Yeah, we could cook the most delicious breakfast in history. And give it to Mommy and Daddy. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats took all their favorite foods out of the fridge. What should we cook for breakfast? Let's make some little pie things. Uh, with jelly. But to make pies, you have to make dough and roll it and stuff. And we have no idea <gasps> how to do it. Well, in that case, we should make some sausage pudding. But we're too young to use the oven, and we don't know how. <laughs> Porridge is actually starting to look pretty good. If we can't cook, then maybe we shouldn't do a cooking show. I mean, I'm just saying. I have a really good idea. We should make a salad. All you have to do to make a salad is put stuff together in a bowl, right? <laughs> Ooh. So the kitty cats made a salad out of cheese, fish, cream, jam, and fruit. Oh, what are my little ones doing? Mommy. We're putting on our own cooking show. We made the most delicious salad in the history of forever and ever. You're just in time for the part where everybody tastes it. Interesting. Worrying, but interesting. Daddy woke up just in time. Hey, good morning, family. Ooh, what's for breakfast? <laughs> A special cooking show from our kittens. Welcome, wonderful viewers. <laughs> Enjoy our salad a la kitty cat. Um. 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 Mm. Well, 
pretty good for a first try, I guess. What on earth are we eating? Yeah, this is horrible. Well, horrible doesn't cover it. But how come our salad is so disgusting? All of the stuff that we put into it is real yummy. Fish and sugar, cream and bananas. Pickles and sausages and ketchup and jam. And a bunch of my very favorite cheese. <laughs> An unusual mixture, to say the least. <laughs> Mixing is good, but picking things that go together well is the most important thing to remember. You see, now it doesn't work if you're just tossing in everything you like at the same time. I've got an idea. Why don't we have a healthy breakfast of porridge? Yeah, I'd love to have porridge, too. Yeah, turns out making your very own cooking show makes you really hungry. Uh-huh. Porridge coming right up. I'll just, uh, deal with this and... Welcome, dear viewers. Try our Five Cats Yum special porridge. <laughs> <laughs> What's more, we have here some nice jelly, honey, raisins, nice nuts, and sun-dried fruit that you can add to it and make it even yummier. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Just like that, porridge became a scrumptious breakfast, with the kitty cats able to create their very own special porridge delights. Chess mates! One day, Pudding took his chessboard with him to the playground. Cookie, would you like to play chess with me? Not really, Pudding. It's boring playing with you because you always win. Hey, Candy, do you want to play? I don't know how. Oh, great. I want to become a brilliant chess player, but I can't practice with anyone. Hey! Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Pudding, we could ask one of our friends to play a game of chess with you. How about that? Hey, yeah, we'll find you somebody great to play with for sure. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The first friend to agree to play chess with Pudding was Cupcake. But Cupcake, why are you only moving your horsey? That piece is called a knight, you know. I like to move it because it's the prettiest. There, checkmate. You lost, Cupcake. Well, so what? I'm going to find some ribbons. The next player was Smudge. I get to be black if I'm going to play. Ha! I just took your pawn. And hey, I just took your knight. I took another pawn. And checkmate. Huh? I win again. Oh, already? It was turning out that finding a good chess player wasn't easy. I'll move there. No, wait, there, or there, or how about there? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna move a different one, all right? Uh, 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 uh. Mustard, I took your bishop. What? Oh, I love that bishop so much. He was my favorite piece in the whole game. <laughs> I'm not playing. But finally, Smart Dart came along to play chess with Pudding. Uh, believe it or not, I have never played chess before. Wow. wow! What? We were all sure that you'd be a chess expert. So Pudding explained to Dart how the different pieces move in chess. Why is the horse only allowed to move like that? Why can't he gallop all over the board? Why can the king only move one space at a time while the queen can go all over? Well, uh, those are just the rules of the game. Nah, sorry. Chess is definitely not for me. But with no one to help me practice, I'll never be a cool chess champion. I'll never win any cups at all. <laughs> win cups? Hey, remember? Doesn't Daddy have chess trophies on the shelves in his office? Yeah, Daddy must be pretty good at playing chess pudding. Um, well, checkmate. Huh? Huh? <laughs> really nice job, pudding. <laughs> How could he beat you that fast? You're a champion. Look at all the chess trophies you've got. <laughs> oh, they aren't mine. They're your mother's. Why, she played chess back in school and she won all the competitions because she was the very best. Ha! I have a really good idea. We need to call Mom now. Wow, that was
was great! Yay! Well, Pudding, that was a really good game. It looks like our family might contain the future champion of the world. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy surprised everyone by baking a honey glazed chess set cake. <laughs> well, your daddy might not be a chess champion, but he's a dessert <laughs> master. Check. Bang me. <laughs> and that's how Pudding found a worthy opponent, and Daddy invented a wonderful new treat for tea time. The musical birthday card! It was Daddy's birthday, and the kitties were wondering what present to give him. I know, Mommy! We could give Daddy a bicycle! Then he could ride to work on traffic instead of in traffic! That's a lovely idea, but you're forgetting that poor sweet Daddy is very... clumsy. Right. Well, maybe we should get him a helicopter. That's a nice idea, Pudding, but the air above all that traffic can get awfully yucky. I know, I know. Let's give him a rocket. Then he can fly higher than the yucky air. But knowing your daddy, he'd probably end up in a Martian traffic jam. <laughs> But what, what else, else could we, we possibly, possibly get, get him? Well, there is one thing I know that Daddy has always wanted. Huh? Well, well tell, tell us what it is. is. A musical card. One where every time you open it, it plays beautiful music. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The store had so many musical cards to choose from. How were they going to decide? Huh? A birthday cake card that also plays birthday music? It's perfect, kids! The kitty cats thought it was perfect, too. I've just got to hear it again. I want to hear it. Just one more time. So they listened to it one more time. And then, one more, one more time. After that, it got a little hard to keep count. Still, they listened, and listened, and listened, and listened. Hey, what's going on? The battery can't have worn out that fast. I think it might just be tired. Maybe you forgot how the song went. I'm going to try to refresh its memory. It's just being lazy. Are you trying to spoil Daddy's birthday? Start playing properly! Oh, great. Now the card is sulking. Uh, Mom, Mom, Mom! Dad's Mom. birthday card refuses to play. It looks like the battery has completely run out of power. Did somebody listen to it a whole bunch of times? I warned you guys about that. You listen just as much. No, you listen to it way more times. I did not. <laughs> Now what are we going to give Daddy for his birthday? <laughs> huh? Just then, the birthday Daddy returned home from work with a pretty box full of sweet treats he'd made at the factory where he works. I know what to do. Come on. The kitties had an idea. They had realized that sometimes the best present is one you make yourself. <laughs> Cookie, candy, pudding! Hey, kids! We made this for your birthday. Because we love... Love you more than anything in the whole wide world. Thank you very much. It's very wonderful. Ooh, oh, I always wanted a musical card. <laughs> oh, it's the best musical card ever. And it's the best birthday present I've ever received. <laughs> but I do wish our card was able to play music on its own. <gasps> but it can. Mommy had recorded the kitten's birthday music on her phone. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So Daddy had the best birthday he'd ever had. What could be better than music, cake, and family? Candy's magic.
magic wand. One day, Cookie and Pudding made a terrible <laughs> mess in the bedroom. <laughs> Look at this room! You need to pick up my dolls and all this other stuff, too. Candy, you're not the boss of us. We're not gonna do it. Tell her, Pudding. Uh, right. Fine, then. I'll just... use my magic wand here to turn you into frogs. Hey, is that really a magic wand? Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Prove that it's a magic wand by using it to clean up this mess. All right. Close your eyes and I'll clean it with the wand. Wand, make this room nice and clean. Cheeky Candy played a trick on the boys to pretend the wand was really magic. The spell is all done. You can look now. Oh, no, no way, way, all right. right. We have an honest-to-goodness magic wand. Now we can wish for anything. So, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Hey, you don't have a magic wand, but I do. And if you don't come out and push me on the swing, then I'll turn you both into frogs. <gasps> So Cookie and Pudding push Candy on the swing. Well, great. From now on, we're going to have to do whatever she tells us, because if she ever gets really mad... I want a cup of tea. <laughs> <gasps> I don't want to be a frog. I don't either. We've got to get the wand away from her somehow. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> hey, give me back my wand or I'll turn you into frogs. <laughs> I'll turn you into something. Turn Candy into a frog right now. Uh, frog, frog. It's not working. Uh, maybe we have to close our eyes, like back in our room. Ah, uh, all right. Uh. <laughs> We are about to get turned into frogs for sure. We've got to run and tell Mommy. Hey, wait! Come back! <laughs> Cookie? How could our very own sister turn you into a frog? Mommy, Candy turned Cookie into a frog with her wand. Just look! <laughs> look what you've done to our brother. But it can't be. Cookie, I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, so that's where my sailor hat went. I thought I lost it in a bush. Cookie! Cookie. Hmm. So that's where my second knitting needle went. I was just wondering where I had put it. You mean that's just one of Mommy's knitting needles and not a magic wand at all? Well, yeah. I was just trying to scare you guys because you wouldn't clean up our room like I asked. You weren't asking us, you were ordering us. Wait a second. Listen, Candy, if you want your brothers to do something, my darling, there's a real magic word that you need to be using. That word is please. Is it really magic? Uh, Pudding, hand me that frog, please, dear brother. <laughs> Here, dear sister. Thanks, and Cookie, would you open the door, pretty please? Ha, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Doing something for somebody else feels nice when they use that word. Maybe that word really is magical. Goodness, yes, and more useful than any magic wand. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, could you give me a push, if you please? Of course, Pudding. <laughs> Woohoo! Cookie and Pudding, could you guys swing my jump rope? Please, please, please? Of, of course, course we, we will. will. <laughs> magic wands only exist in fairy tales, but the kitty cats learned that the magic word please is really magical. <laughs> Thank you.